cybersecurity analyst Pierluigi Paganini. So Pierluigi, we all knew that our data can be susceptible, our identities can be stolen, but this Pegasus spyware, developed by former elements of Israeli intelligence, is really a game changer. I mean, they can put something on your phone without your even knowing it or clicking on anything, and it can take over anything that is in that device. Yes, Pegasus is, one, is probably the most popular surveillance software on the market. It has been developed by the Israel NSO group. It allows operators to take over a, a smartphone without any interaction uh, from the victims. Anyway, it isn't uh, the only one. Many other firms develop spyware that every day are abused in drug net surveillance. Uh, for example, to target journalists, dissidents, and opponents of totalitarian regime. Uh, these software are developed for law enforcement and intelligence agencies, but they are often abused by many, many governments worldwide in cyber espionage operations. I can tell you that the surveillance business is growing in the dark and is becoming very dangerous. You know, time and time again, we see how hackers can get past virtually anything. And it's always, you know, what we know it's always a cat and mouse game for authorities to try to stop that. But you always wonder how susceptible are things that are important to human life, like water systems, electricity, like basic in infrastructures within nations. How strong are they compared to these kinds of hacking attacks? I can tell you that probably every system could be hacked. Every technological device can be abused, for example, for cyber warfare and for cyber espionage. Malware and spyware are the most common means to carry out such kind of attacks. But don't forget that we can also use uh, the power of social network, for example, to arrange a surveillance uh, misinformation, a surveillance campaign or a misinformation campaign. We can abuse any device that surround us in order to spy on us and to carry out powerful cyber attacks against critical infrastructure. Let's, for, let's remind, for example, cyber attacks against power grids, hospital, uh, transportation line, and so on. And we haven't really seen those kinds of attacks, even during war. Why is that? Uh, it's simple because a cyber attacks is uh, is uh, is more is powerful, like a conventional attacks, but uh, it gives the attacker a great advantage. The problem of the attribution. Uh, in fact, nation state actors prefer to carry out cyber attacks because it's quite difficult to attribute a specific attack to a specific threat actors. And this allows them to avoid sanctions, to avoid any kind of political issues. So it's important what we call cyber diplomacy. Yeah, I guess everyone needs to realize if you're using a, a device of any kind, it can surely, surely be susceptible to these kinds of things. Pierluigi, thanks so much.